George Lucas at the start of the video there, and I think that was shot outside of ILM. It what was. are we looking at? <laughs> well, George was way early. George wanted to have music for the end of the picture, the Ewoks, pounding on helmets and all of that. And he and he knew of this. What were they called? The Taco Taco Drummers. Yeah. Yes, thank you. And so we he, he asked me to bring them in, and we did. And Johnny Williams was there. And uh, there was very little discussion. They kind of did what they did. George gave some instructions, and we recorded it two or three or four different ways, different types of drums and pounding and all of that. And then it was kind of modified for the picture when Johnny did the score. And then I think, as you all know, for the redo of Jedi, it was changed. Changed again. 100%. Yeah. I don't think there was anything, Ben can tell us, but I don't think there was anything filtered in the background. I think it was totally taken out. Mm -hmm. Was that a long process, kind of discovering how the, even the original music was going to go? You know, balancing sort of the uh, the end of the picture with the Ewoks and, and kind of walking that line. I mean, how, what were the discussions like leading towards even getting to the original celebration song? It seems like quite a process if he was researching and bringing in Taiko drummers. Clearly, it looks like Sprockets was recording. They had microphones set up in that video as well, so also getting that material together. So what was your question? What, what was the process like getting to that? Was that a difficult, was there a lot of discussion musically about how you ended up with the song? No. No? No, it was basically left, of course, Johnny Williams sees the movie and Johnny Williams goes out and scores it. There was little discussion. I see. 